Mm. That was a long conversation, like... There's gonna be a few more long conversations. Because we're just starting it. We're just starting this. And there's like a lot of information that we have to... Clear out. Planets and locations. The Scourge. The Scourge is a colonial term for a huge and extremely dangerous interstellar phenomenon sighted across much of the Hell's cluster. It appears to be a cloud spreading in tendrils that affects planets and surrounding space, destroying starships that attempt to pass through or near it. The early study of the Scourge has been difficult and does not match any previously known stellar body, leading to many world theories about its nature. Given the problems in observation the Scourge encountered effects on gravity, some have suggested it is dark energy phenomena, in the literal sense, meaning a form of energy that has no electromagnetic, electromagnetic interaction and thus cannot be detected, hence dark, yet has strong negative pressure, causing expansive effects on a cosmic scale. Though the Scourge's characteristics don't match our current understanding of dark energy, these theories persist while further observations are taken. No long-range data showed any sign of the scourge before departure to the Hell's Cluster. Next, scientists suggest it must have appeared in the interviewing centuries while the Arcs retraveled to Andromeda. One of the scourge's more interesting characteristics is that it appears artificial. Its origin point is yet to be determined. But the pattern of the tenders on the composition of the cloud could not have been caused by any celestial event known to astrophysics. Investigations are going slowed by the deadly conditions created by the scourge. Tender Meta Initiative, anything new here? Director Tan. Okay, today Director Tan has official oversight of initiative operation and strategy and effective supervision of Pathfinder teams. Uh, Nakamura Kresh. And uh, look, okay, we know about everything with their they, they told us a lot. Ships and vehicles. Okay, this is my ship, Arc Hyperion. This is Arc Parchero. Arc Parchero is the Andromeda Initiative's designed vessel for transporting Salarian colonies to the new galaxy. Mirroring the design of its human counterpart, Hyperion. Arc Parchero can accommodate. 20,000 passengers and crew in cryogenic stages. Parachiro's development was plagued by early delays and disagreements between its senior crew and the initiative's design team. The Salarian penchant for constantly pushing the boundaries of technology was often at odds with the realities of budgets and time constraints. At one point, it was calculated that if every vital and necessary improvement suggested by the Salarian contingent was in incorporated into the Parachiro design, its launch would have been delayed until 2204 at the soonest. Okay, so they are all almost the same. This is probably the most like yeah. a geek thing, but this one is constructed in orbit around PRS is the Sari home system Paranitia. Uh, Arc Luciana, Luciana is named after a kingdom of love and learning in the Sire mythology. It is built to the same specification as Sire Sister Arc Hyperion with internal modification to accommodate a Sire social preference and captained by Elonia Stan, Atandra. The Andromeda Initiative was initially rejected as a human driven bundle by many Sire investors, and the construction of the Luciana was met with ridicule. 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 However, the authors drew the attention of several Montreal hearts who had desisted in previous attempts to send crewed members missions to Andromeda, and their impassioned external addresses helped turn the tide of public opinion. At her departure ceremony, Arco Luciana was officially blessed by the Atamana Polit Politea, an organization of Siaris high priestess from across the Asari Republic. Arco Luciana traveled to the initiative from those points in 21st, 2184, and left the Midway as a part of initial departure wave in 18, uh, 2185. And there is Arc Natanus, also the same but green. 
How can the source construct an in orbit around Ventan and once lucrative mining planet in the Turian home system Trebia? The Ark was named after legendary spacefarer Palex Natanus, who is believed to be the first Turian to travel through a mass relay. The Natanus is built to similar specifications as the Sari and Human Arcs, but with minor changes to accommodate the aerodextra amni acid based passengers. Natanus is captained uh, by the renovated the Praetorian of the Sixth Fleet. Like most economical ventures, Turian investors were turned onto the Andromeda initiative by their clients, the Vols. The Turian hierarchy was inten intentionally kept in the dark to keep the initiative a private civilian project. Ark Nautanus traveled to the initiative of those points. Same thing, same dates. Okay, journal. Tell me. Tell me more. Analyze. Find this on the Salarian Arcs, probably. Yeah, we can't mark it. We can mark this one. Strike team missions. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Cantrus for authorization to participate. Hmm. What am I going to do? That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. Dispatch them for what? What situations should they handle? Protecting civilian outposts, holding key positions, or just distracting the cat. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Just like that. Strike teams can be sent on a mission to support the Endorgon initiative. If they succeed, they will earn XP and the rider will gain a reward. If they fail, they will, win only, they will earn only a small amount of XP and no special reward. Apex is the most elite strike team in the cluster and handles critical missions. Select the mission, press spaces and Apex. Your progress will be automatically saved before multiplayer is launched. You will then play the role of an Apex operative in a small squad. Play Apex missions in multiplayer either with friends or through public matchmaking to attract team reward for either national bonuses. What's that? Uh... Says... This is your current list of recruited strike teams. Select a team with space to recruit them with specialty gear. Retire a team with V if you want to recruit a fresh team in their place. The more strike team you have, the more missions you can only take at once. Select a team to recruit new strike team your cause. Mm -hmm. Strike teams on mission can earn positive traits if they succeed and negative ones if they fail. Strike team, okay. Cost 40 mission funds. We have exactly this and then the number. Okay, I have no idea what's what's happening here. These missions are currently available for your strike team. Select mission with space to send the strike team. Check back daily for new available missions. This icon describes the difficulty of the mission. Read the description of each mission, the time limit to attempt the mission, the reward for success with completing the mission, and add mission traits or properties. Ooh. Okay, those are the Main mission, this is Apex mission that will be for two and a half hour. This is 50 this minutes. Okay, let's go here. Would you like to play this Apex mission in play or send a strike team? Let's try strike team. Yeah. Okay, 75%. Ugh, we could do this. Never mind. 
that, you know. I'm not sure what's this, but we'll recruit new team. Nice. Grizzled veterans plus five to effectiveness, and this is plus ten to use against remnant. Okay, I can send the other team. Seventy percent. Can we start with them? Okay, I I don't understand. Send the other team to here. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanis was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. Are the other Turians managing okay? So so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. But that isn't news to you, right? You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyreen went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. At least he's not like talkative like the Salarian. But then, based on status report 16C, it seems we're not closer to gaining football in a sector. Without a listen to recon and greater info on this enemy, I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The risks involved and continued loss of resources and lives make it hard to justify. More of all this law, we need to scale down expectation against Kandros. Kandros is still in this is a nightmare. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband. He's locked up and slated for exile. For a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. 
They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda. But the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Milken Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Notice the hand off there. Too small for lizards. You'd be surprised. There's also for vine in the sea. Pathfinder, no time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is... It... Let's call it strained. I can believe it. The Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. Reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable, as our expedition proves. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr. Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. What fields do you study? Herrick's into life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography, rocks and runoff. Aradana's the space and math whiz. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? And then, okay, this is like all... Uh, nice. New points. Could do this actually a little more time. Okay. Confirm. I, um... Select... Oops, we haven't confirmed this. Back and confirm and execute. And confirm. There. Tape for us. What's there for us? Can, for example, go here and this will stop my fucking mercy. You like it? Oh, I will take it. And next to this, I will... Actually, I will... I don't know, maybe barricade. What about... I don't think I was like, oh, duration five seconds. Or for. So we can only have three powers at once. 
So energy drain is okay. They're giving us armor back. So we don't need actually a barricade because we can always uh, redo it. And then we have to think about something. I don't know something. Aggressive. Okay. Okay. So here and the Nova. This is good. Shockwave. Best enemies with a line of explosion that proceed to walk the north. Okay, I remember this. This is like it was in front of you. Damage duration. This is also good because it's like taking one guy for five seconds and he can't do anything. Great. But he has to have no shield and armor. This is actually kind of a kind of problem. Yeah, exactly. This is like this annihilation. Backslash. Currency front abiotic ages barrier that reflects many post projects and reduces the damage of other enemy attacks. Uh -huh. Lance. Okay, you should uh, throw something. Okay, I think we'll, I'll go with this one. Yeah. Those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Okay. Can we talk? Oh, I have to be in front of you. Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They hadn't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. Trap technicians, please report to the Hyperion... Hi, Pathfinder. You want to hit some rocks for science? I didn't stop me. Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Okay, I think we have like a lot of missions right now. Yeah, completed missions. First strike. Great. But additional task. Comparatively alien. Uh, access determined. Professor Heavy is working on a comparative world file. Wildlife con conservation effort. Travel the cluster and take scans of an uh, unknown wild file. Hitting rocks for science. Uh, you use your scanner on uncharted worlds to test out Chief Mokan's new geophysics survey. AI. Missing scientists. Dr. Adriana sent a team out to study the courage they haven't reported in. She first the wars. Access the terminal. Which terminal? This one? Mm 
another missions. Well, final proposal, Professor and Herrick at all. At all. Since we are, by definition, an invasive species in Andromeda, our inevitable footprint must be light carefully and we must preserve anything we replace. The Hellos cluster presents an unexpected challenge. We arrive with seed archives and DNA banks to ensure preservation of the biodiversity of the Milky Way. But, the class, but this cluster is carved by this courage and its unique flora and fauna are threatened by its turbulence. That too requires con conserv conservation. Activate. And this is Geophysics VI Beta Build. Uh, some logs. Okay, uh, back to this. Scan my minerals. 16 minerals to scan. Scan Andromeda wool files. 10. This is. Can we track it? Anyhow. Uh, nope. We can talk with you again. The beauty of the cosmos unfolds in your planet scans, Pathfinder. But there is more they can do. How can I help? Okay, you have two missions. Do you have something in mind, Doctor? Plans for a school are underway to inspire a new generation of young minds. I want to craft a model of the cluster for them, accurate and splendid from your data. My prototype is on that console. Add more scans to improve it, and I will share my educational budget with you, and my thanks. Hold Y to track access the terminal. Okay, back again. Cluster model, Dr. Liam Adrena. Um, the three initial system models will be complete by the next week. We shall see our place in the world. Orbital variance for the next week must be corrected as construction corrects our orientation. A reminder, our daughters will not know stays. The 600 years sleeping, they will be born on Andromeda and whatever is unfolding. This cluster is... A <coughs> sorry. This cluster in its chaos was not welcoming. But it matters less what we suffer here, more what we bring. Ah, activated. 